Hello everyone, this lecture is related to calculation of thermodynamic property, which is enthalpy change, entropy change, and Gibbs free energy change. So, sometime in adsorption process or in catalysis process, we uh, are interested to find the enthalpy change of a process, entropy change, or Gibbs free energy. This gives us some uh, useful information about a process. Oh. And these for a system, the, uh, to understand this property, it is very important in adsorption and uh, catalysis process oh. so these can be derived from we can derive these properties from uh, thermodynamics so oh. as we know uh, from the a famous equation which is uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, related to Gibbs free energy which is given change in Gibbs free energy which is change in uh, enthalpy minus uh, absolute temperature into change in entropy suppose this is equation number one now we are going to prove the uh, one half equation oh, which is a famous which is a famous equation and which give us information about enthalpy entropy and Gibbs free energy change so from thermodynamic we know that change in Gibbs, Gibbs free energy is equal to change in enthalpy minus uh, temperature into change in entropy which is absolute temperature oh. now we also know that Gibbs free energy is equal to standard grip Gibbs free energy plus RT ln of K which is equilibrium constant O. The K is equilibrium constant. Now we know that at equilibrium at equilibrium at equilibrium suppose at equilibrium the Gibbs free energy is suppose this is the Gibbs free energy the Gibbs free energy is the Gibbs free energy is not changing go oh. at equilibrium the Gibbs free change in Gibbs free energy is zero so at equilibrium the Gibbs free energy is equal to zero so from equation 2 we can also say that delta G is equal to minus RT ln up K which is equation 3 now compare equation number 1 equation number 3 we will get minus RT ln of K compare equation number 3 with equation 1 we will get minus RK ln K is equal to delta H minus T into delta SO now divide both side by RT we will get ln of K by RT plus T delta S by R T T cancel with T and we get RT plus delta S by R and this is the ln K so a graph graph can be formed this is the entropy change divided by gas constant which is 8.14 joule per mole get a universal gas constant so and t is the absolute temperature the enthalpy entropy and equilibrium constant so now if we plot a graph between uh, the reciprocal of temperature uh, with respect to along k we will get line sum of this type which is straight line of this type line can be formed so from the y-intercept of the line we can get the entropy of the system and from the slope of this line the slope this is the slope of the line delta h by t show the slope of the line this is a minus the minus sign minus delta h by t show the slope of the line which is delta h by t which is the slope of the line similarly delta s by r show the y intercept of the line so suppose the slope of a line is 2 or something suppose if the slope is 2 then we can get this delta h simply this can be some temperature multiply by temperature we will get delta h from the slope it can be anything so similarly from the y intercept we can get we can get the one suppose this is 2 or 3 or something 
and suppose delta s can be 114 divided by r power same we can get entropy change from the y-intercept of the line and this y-axis show the equilibrium constant o so we can this is this equation is known as one half equation this is the linear form of one half equation one half equation in most case it is used in biological study or in an enzymatic study or it can be used in various field so this is all about the one half equation and the thermodynamic property uh, during the adsorption process or catalysis process oh. thanks